The name's Miles, Daniel Miles, and this is a dunking of Pan. Well, what can I say about this film? It's shaping up to be the biggest flop since Tomorrowland, which was the biggest flop since Jupiter Ascending. And to be honest, if it had come out in the middle of the summer, I probably wouldn't be that annoyed at it. Let's break it down. This film is an origin story for Peter Pan. It shows how he goes from being a timid, quiet, shy orphan boy into the boy who couldn't grow up. At least, I think that's what the plot is. This plot is Avatar with a bit of the chosen one thrown in. Which is not Peter Pan. No one asked for this Pan film. Peter Pan does not need an origin story. No Peter Pan film has ever got anywhere near making the amount of money that this film would have made in order to make a profit, let alone the sequel it openly begs for at the end. This film is a letdown from start to finish. So let's start at the start and I'll tell you exactly what's wrong with it. Let's break it down. This is an origin story for Peter Pan, the boy who cannot grow up. The boy who the plot demands forgets everything he's learned in order to retain his youth. In other words, he's a character that cannot grow, cannot adapt, cannot evolve. He's, he's in stasis. To say this film jumps all over time is an understatement. A film originally set in Victoria, London is pointlessly brought forward to the 1940s so they can have a few cool scenes with Spitfires and I am absolutely certain that Smells Like Teen Spirit was not around in the 1940s. Now this film isn't completely hopeless. Sometimes the music's quite good, Hugh Jackman is on marvellous scenery chewing form as Blackbeard and a couple of the fight scenes were quite tolerable. However, this film is a joyless film. At times there's so much CGI in this film, it feels like a video game cutscene. There's so little real set, I'm beginning to think the entire thing wasn't filmed on a green screen. $150 million for once shows on screen, but almost every single penny that seems to go on CGI. They don't seem to spend any money on cleaning up the script, which goes all over the place. Character motivations change, locations change, there's a million plot holes. Rooney Mara has copped some flack for playing Tiger Lily. I don't know if anyone could have brought dignity to a role that is basically, you can do this. She does wear a stupid hat though. It's hard to describe Peter Pan using any positive words. The actor's got the charisma of my washing up. He's got the, the acting ability of my socks. He's got no screen presence, no oomph. I wouldn't follow this kid to the sweet shop, let alone into battle. The piece of cardboard that tried to star in Tron Legacy is here trying to out scenery to Hugh Jackman. Unfortunately, the last time I saw scenery chewing like this, it was during Flash Gordon. At the end of the day, is this the worst film ever? No. Does this film have a reason to exist? No. The actors, if they're not horrifically overacting, are barely noticeable. The CGI is horrifically obvious. The script needed about 15 more rewrites. It's not appalling. It, it's not hopeless. There was just absolutely no need for this film to exist. This film is poor. That's, it's poor. There's nothing here to, there's no moment to remember, no wondrous moment as he first flies. It doesn't even seem to feel like Peter Pan should, full of joy and exuberance and what's going to happen next. It's a tepid by the numbers plot. I'm Daniel, this is a donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.